You'll recognize this guy. Don't help. Unapologetic. Nice. Unapologetic, Dontel. Published a sub stack this week. Yes, we need to bring the mail and fire that to Joy Guy. I'd love that. Um, Dontel somehow got this out this week. The only other person I really saw covering it, I think maybe Convo covered it. I know Franco did a great segment on it. And of course, yeah. Dontel himself did a stream and segment about it, but I wanted to give him a shout out because this was just mwah. AOC and Just Dems, of course, not Justice Democrats, paid $13 million to DNC consulting firms since 2019. And this is not a hating post. This is a, this is a, we're disappointed, but we warned you, and this is not a surprise here post. Claim to be the yeah, antidote to corrupt corporate problem. Democrats, but they turns out they're just Democrats. Classic dad move of we're not mad, we're disappointed. That's what we have to it's, do. Uh, I guess. Well, we're not nihilists. Burn. We're not nihilists. No. We don't want to watch the I world mean, burn. Sure. We want to put our faith in yeah. people that will actually do the things that they say that they're going to do. And we're going to find people who are going to do that. And we're going to organize and try to push the people that said they were going to do it and aren't into doing it yeah whether that is with yeah. within uh the the party or from outside as independents or from a third party but the pressure is coming the pressure is there and they are feeling it and they need to be feeling it more often according to our friend robert durden he's got some pretty good ideas yeah. about that sure. so don tell after going through a filing on open secrets and totaling money that went directly to consultants, Justice Democrats, uh, Pramila Jai, Paul Rokana, Ilana Omar, and AOC gave $13 million to DNC consultants over the last three years. What? The politicians who solicited millions in donations explicitly promising to dismantle the corporate influence in the Democratic Party plan to do it by Dumping $13 million into the nexus of corporate influence consulting firms? That'll do it. Mm. That'll do it. That, that's that got to dismantle the corporate influence by by giving the corporate influence money. What? Right. right. The fact that they're willing to invest this amount of money into the shady infrastructure of the party answers a major question. If they aren't funded by corporations, why won't they ever challenge leadership to advance the policies they ran on? They used our political donations as their buy-in to the corrupt, but always the profit, but always profitable political machine. It's clear they had no intention of following through on the promise to root out corruption in the party, since they're participating in it themselves by greasing the palms of power brokers in the Democratic Party. Can't argue with very much of that. Yeah, this is Pontel's just, again, sledgehammer. And this is a long article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Again, I totally encourage unapologetic.substack.com. He doesn't publish very often. You can support him there. I believe you can pay to subscribe. I, if not, you can just subscribe via email. But again, Jayapal created a Medicare for All pack in 2020. From that pack, $619,000 went to Mothership Strategies. Another DNC consulting firm, hundred twenty-four thousand from her own campaign. Jamie Harrison campaign paid them sixteen and a half million dollars just to lose the vulnerable, odious Lindsey Graham. Oh, I love it. So good. He's got the goods. Chicanery with DNC consultants isn't new. Oh, look who it is. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting oh. for the reaction. Oh, this, look who it is. this is the 2016 oh, no. Unity Reform Cons. Commission meter. All right, where Cons. they agreed to do all kinds of things that got completely rolled back once the primary happened. Sean, dude, welcome. Good to see you here. 
So in 2016, between seven and 800 million was spent on five consulting firms just to ultimately lose in the House, Senate, and White House to Trump. During the golden era of high-priced consultants, the Democrats lost over 1,200 seats at all levels. And again, never a price to pay for poor results. In no. fact, those same consultants are still being paid millions to advise campaigns, no. which which brings me to the explanation I believe this all provides about the subservience. Considering all the advantages these incumbents that I've gone over before, I have a hard time believing AOC spent $1.4 million on a clothing line because she thought that would protect her seat from a challenger. I'm unconvinced that Ilan Omar really believes $2.9 million to her, her husband's media consulting firm is what will keep her in Congress fighting the good fight. If Jayapal believes giving a DNC consulting firm 900000 to run Medicare for all ads move the needle on at all on a single payer, I have a bridge to sell her. If the old adage that money is power is true, then the overpaid consultant class of the Democratic Party are second only to the donors in maintaining the corporate capture of the party. Oh, just no. mwah, absolute poetry. Poetry. Yeah. Genius, really. Like, don't, don't tell. Dude, bravo. Okay. Seriously. Thank you. I, All I right. don't know how anyone with a conscience can keep telling poor people to continue giving their money to these politicians as they become part of the establishment using our money as their buy-in. Jeez. Just sledgehammers. Right in sentences like that, yeah. Your money is best spent on mutual aid in your community, organizing direct action, and yep. funding adversarial media. Well, thank you very much, sir. And please you, sir. fund his adversarial media. Calling this stuff out and writing it and publishing it for all to read and see. Please, yeah, subscribe to Don Tell. I'm already a subscriber to his yeah. See what the the great thing about Don Tell is because he doesn't publish very often. You know when he's got yeah. one, it's going to be really good. And every time I see yeah. a Don Tell's newsletter published, I go, oh, I'm running for Don Tell. He hasn't published very many, and he also called out Jordan in an article where Jordan called me out. So I. A little shout out for Don Tell for doing that. Thank you. <laughs> so, so Don Tell, Don Tell, the man, like that was that was great. Appreciate him. 